Good morning, YouTube. It's almost seven. I have work today for three hours and just headed to the bus stop. It's gonna take me two buses to get there in an hour and 18 minutes. So hopefully I don't miss the second bus because that one only comes once like an hour. So I'm pretty screwed if I miss it. But anyways, I'm just walking to the bus stop. Okay, I am just at my old room. I had to take pictures for the ad that I have to put up to try to get someone to come in this room and take over my lease. And I just swept the floors. I've put together the desk that I had stored under the bed. I've taken all of the pictures I need, I think. I just need to also take our bedding and our comforter and uh, put it in the bag that I brought and then I can go down back to the Sam's my house. Hello again. It's the same day. It's three o'clock now. I've just gotten back to Sam's slash my house from my old room. I've made myself a mega bowl of leftovers from last night. I've had a shower. I've changed into comfortable clothes. I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. My agency called me and talked about the little job that I had today. They're gonna call me back apparently. And now I'm just sitting down eating this huge bowl of pasta, watching, I'm gonna start uh, The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez on Netflix. And that's about it. It is Tuesday? Tuesday, March 3rd. I think the agency never called me back, so I'm just assuming that I just don't have work today. It's also almost nine o'clock. I'm gonna safely say I don't have work today, which is kind of okay. There's lots to do around the apartment. You can go grocery shopping. I do think that I might be viewing my old room today. So my landlady, I sent my landlady my ad last night for her to double check that all the information, all the information was correct and she said it looks good and then like an hour later she sent me a screenshot of i think a tenant from another one of her properties saying could you message this person for viewing so i messaged them and they messaged me back saying what is your availability for today and i said probably any time since i do agency work and i just need to know if they're gonna call me into work or not. So I said I would message him around like 10 to the guest tell him like I, if I went into work or not. Other than that, there's the kitchen to be cleaned, laundry put away, laundry to be put on. There's like vacuuming, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I also wanted to say I started the trials of Gabriel Fernandez last yesterday on Netflix when I got in from my trial interview. It's really, like crazy insane uh what they did but it's a really good show i feel like i learned about him when i was in college anyways i'm going to start on what i need to get done so <laughs> i've made the bed i've got some clean clothes on i am in the middle i have put the dishwasher on I've cleaned the counters. I'm in the very end of cleaning the kitchen, so I just have to mop the floor. Then I will put the laundry away that's on the huge heater. I've lit some candles in the wax burner to make the house smell nice. I've wiped down the cupboards of the kitchen because they were looking real greasy. So I'll take off the laundry and then I will put a new load on. We'll go from there. I'm currently just cleaning the floors of the apartment since I honestly like I have nothing to do kind of today and it's pouring rain like I need to go to the store to get dinner I think but it's like pouring rain I don't want to leave so I'm just trying to get on top of cleaning and everything but we have for this corner of not this this is where the desk is and everything but this corner of the apartment that's kind of just used for like instruments Sam's instruments and stuff. What I was thinking is it's very cold 
a lot of the time because some of the heaters don't work and the windows let out a lot of heat and there are two huge windows right there in that corner and we do have this huge purple rug that we took from Sam's parents house before we got a new before Sam got the new rug installed just because the old rug was so crap that that was just a temporary thing for the uh, part of the rug that we walked on the most. So what I was thinking is if I put this rug starting at this corner and having where those guitars are, that little bit, and then this little bit, not covered by the carpet obviously, but just have the carpet come out, it would kind of overlay this carpet that's already on the floor but I was thinking that's fine because the couch and this thing and our everything else covers this part anyway when you come in so you wouldn't see the overlay that much. But I'm gonna move everything out of this corner again and put that carpet down and see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks nice because that rug is just in the corner if we don't know what to do with it. I don't know how convinced I am of this rug being here. It would need to go up to this wall, but I don't know then if it would interfere with this. I wanted to put it here, but because this wall comes out again, it won't fit. Unless, oh, we do it the other way. Let's try that. I think maybe this works better. I don't know. Here is what we've ended up with. Uh, ignore this white extension cord. Um, I don't know. Hopefully it keeps the warmth in a little better. So I've mopped all the floors now, emptied the dishwasher, I've done this. The laundry did go off so I do have to uh, go hang that. Then I need to find, so I brought my duvet over obviously. I washed the cover that it was in, but that will just go into our little storage unit for sheets. And I have to put a sheet on that now because that is going to be our couch duvet. And these pillows I think are... I think we're getting rid of them. It's just a matter of getting them out. But then other than that, I did text that person to arrange the viewing. I haven't texted them back yet. But the problem I have with is with taking the garbage out is last week, yeah, last week uh, when the carpet was going in, Sam was working from home because the carpets were going in. And I was here because it was half term. And he asked me to go out and get 10 pound out of his account from the gas station. So I walked to the gas station. And then when I came back, the people that sit at the front of the apartment in the reception area. Like usually I just like smile at them or just say hi. As a lot of the times I have my headphones on anyway. And he stopped me when I came back and he asked me who gave me the code to get in. Cause obviously I don't have a fob because obviously Sam is the only one with the fob. But I know the code obviously to get into the building. And I said, uh, my boyfriend. And then he said, oh, he lives here. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. And I just think that is so strange. Like what if I, like, I guess I kind of live here now. I officially do when I get my room rented out but like how did you know how like you don't know everybody that lives in this building I think that's such a strange thing to ask someone who gave you the code to get in like how did you get that what and it's not even like my first time coming like I've been coming here for, for months it's, it's so strange I don't think the laundry worked took it out and the little laundry ball thing was still in there unopened undissolved and only one thing was wet so I'm trying to do it again on a different setting. So we have water and I think we have some bubbles. So I think it's working, hopefully. I'll come back in an hour and it's clean. I think what I'm gonna do now is go put some makeup on because that's just what I have to do next, I guess. So I've gotten some makeup on now. So I feel a bit more like myself. The laundry did work, so now I've hung that up. I've painted my nails. Uh, there's something seriously wrong with my lip, I don't know. I've put some um, cold sore medication on it. It seems to be helping. It's not a cold sore though. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. It almost feels like windburn because it splits open. It's really, 
what I'm gonna do is wash my makeup brushes because that is something that needs to be done. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. I think I'll also FaceTime my mom. I just messaged Sam also to ask him if he wanted a tacos for dinner because I'm kind of feeling the taco vibe. Haven't heard anything from this person that apparently wants to view my room. This is bugging me so much. Um, it's almost 1, I think. Yeah, it's 12.40, so we'll see. I have put on another load of laundry, one with a drying setting, I think. It's all of our towels. Hopefully they all dry because my plan was put the extra ones that we're not using, so we only really need two in the bathroom at a time, put two in the bathroom and then put the extra ones in a little cube bin outside of the room. I'm hoping that they do dry because this is the current situation of the entire heating rack is full and these are not small towels. Haven't heard anything from my agency. I did text Sam about potentially having tacos tonight for food, uh, which he agreed. So I will walk to Morrison's. Other than that, I do need to get a duvet out of the bedroom to put onto the duvet that's in the living room. That's what I'm gonna do right now. The only duvet that we have that would look, I guess, nice with the theme of the living room is this one from my house that is a fleece duvet. And Sam hates this one because he gets too hot. It's the only one that will look nice. There we go. I'm putting it on. I don't care. Let me just show you this overview of this so you kind of know what I mean is how it will. It's the only one that will look nice. Okay, and there we go. It looks, I mean, this looks like now there's a bed. We have a pillow out here and I just switched it to match the same color. So there's not like 700 colors going on here. So I think this looks nice. I don't know if I want to take a bin, an extra bin that we have and make like a blanket bin like here or something with just all the extra blankets in it. This is so, it's like on and off raining. So I did uh, message Sam and say, if we're going to eat at eight tonight because he's going out, can you just go to the grocery store on your way home? Or could we go together when you get home from work? Because I don't want to walk in this. So I'm just waiting to hear what he says. I've just made some pasta from two days ago. Pasta leftovers and I'm gonna sit and watch the Charles Gabriel Fernandez and then maybe call my mom. No one's called me yet. No one's messaged me back yet of the room or a job. It's about six. Haven't really been doing much. Me and Sam. Sam came home. We went really quickly to the grocery store, picked up ingredients to make burritos tonight. We didn't buy wraps. Okay. I'll just message him to get them on the way home. And then he had to leave and go to a that podcast thing. So I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm going to go have a shower right now. He's going to get home at around 8. So then we're just going to make food and then probably watch something and then probably go to bed. Agency did contact me they did she she did email me saying she tried to call the school but the head teacher didn't talk to the teacher that class I was in yet so she'll call back so I guess I don't have work tomorrow again which whatever I don't really even want to go to that school because it is so far and I don't want to do key stage one it's not the functioning level I kind of want anyways I'm just gonna go have a shower quickly while Sam's not here I guess I will see y'all Tomorrow. I do think I have two viewings tomorrow for the my room, so that is good.